gonna try to fix first. First one I thought of was school live. Mm, only because you don't know if it's live or live. Exactly. <laughs> it is such a bad decision. And of course they're translating it from the original Japanese, which I think is pretty close to school live because they are part of a like the the show revolves around a school club where they live at school. So the school live club. It makes sense in Japanese. But when you say it in English and you look at it and you try to read it, it looks like school live because you would not say school live. It's such a weird thing to say. So are we are we trying to suggest new names? Because I mean, I didn't invest any time. Ideally, I mean, we can try to workshop it. But yeah, I think we should. Um, Because I'm glad that this show isn't one of the ones that's like, I I went to school like any other day, but uh, it actually was all a big delusion. Ha ha. Like, 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 you know, it didn't like reveal that hand. People know. People know. Yeah. So, I mean, it could be like the living at school club. Yeah, it sounds a little, it does sound a little uh, rough. But at least but no one's saying really the live in at school club. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so much easier to say school live than school live. Uh, What's your but... opinion on these hunter hunters or shows with the x in the middle should those go away Mm, i don't think so okay i don't think it's that big a deal because it still sounds fine like hunter x hunter or hunter hunter or spy family or spy x family i think they you know it's all a matter of preference i guess Mm -hmm. but what would that community have to argue about if they can't say it's hunter hunter or hunter x hunter they all (laughs) love the show but they just fight no it's hunter Hunter. no it's hunter x hunter yeah you're both right I, I guess I don't know. It's it's not not a fight worth having. I guess, but no. Do we do we want to like go in a circle here? And I think so. Else? I think yeah, so. We'll I'll just bounce that. around. Otaku, what show needs some repair? I love the franchise, but is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? It... <laughs> yeah. You would think it's uh, something different than what it is. And then it, I mean, I haven't seen it, but I have a image in my mind that gets conflicted when I see things about the show. It's it's so much more serious than the title lends on. Like, uh, you know, it's it's in season five, so I think we can mostly avoid spoilers. But like, the crux of the show is that the main character is Zeus's grandson, and he is ridiculously overpowered because his skill allows him to level up super fast, and he just happens to cross paths with a know nothing goddess, but. You know, people are drawn to him from all across the land in the show. And they really paint it, the title paints it to be some comedy when it's really far from it. I mean, there's permanent death with characters. There's all sorts of lore with gods from the Greek mythology tied in and how they kind of act like they're portrayed in the mythology. It's such a more serious show than the title lends to. And it's like, I don't even... It's just the one of the worst titles for one of my favorite shows. I can't stand it. It drives me nuts every time. So if you had to rename it something other than the great boob ribboning of 2012 or whenever it came out, what would you call it? Like uh, what, what captures? Because it is still kind of a silly show at times. It 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 has its moments for sure. But when it's time to get down to business and fight the big monster or take on the evil God, it, it pulls through. So I guess more than anything, I think it should just draw attention to the fact that like draw people in with a little info about your main character. Like, like the, the grandson of Zeus, like something simple, like, okay, you have my attention because there's a lot of franchises out there that have success off of, you know, being offspring of a God. And if you just call, like, the, the grandson of Zeus, you instantly have my attention. I got one. I got one. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Caroline. Okay. <laughs> Demigod in Dungeon. Now, does that play the hand too soon, though, about him being Zeus's son? Or is that pretty I mean, early I don't know on? How, yeah, I don't know when that... that like, rel- and, like, do, do I need to come in with knowledge of, you know, this folklore of all these gods who i like i'm expecting a god story like i don't know it's i'm not saying you're wrong i haven't seen enough of it to uh vouch for it 
I mean, it does a good job of introducing like every god. Like every time one comes on screen, it'll have their name in a subtitle. Like, mm-hmm. by the way, don't forget this is Freya. By the way, don't forget this is you know this is Hestia. It, it, so they do a good job of introducing their characters and all. Um, I, I I think that's a really good idea, Carolyn. I really do. Okay. They're dungeon there demigod. Go. Dungeon demigod, even better. See, alliteration is the key to success. Yeah, it really is. Um, let's see. The first one I had on my list was the girl I liked forgot her glasses, which <laughs> is just one of those straight up pure and simple. That's that's what the show is sure. about, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with it, but it's also it two it on the funny. nose. Yeah, you know. So my first thought was we'd call it blurred lines because that's, you know, but that's too problematic. So I was just thinking like blurred affection, like something of just like, you know, capturing the essence of not having glasses, of being, you know, optically impaired, but also like referring to the feelings that they have for one another, not being clear and like trying to being figured out. I've got one for you. How about my blind crush? Ooh, so that works better. I don't know if blind. I you know I kind of like not it. Technically blind, but I mean, I mean when she was just her glasses, she blind, may as well she's be. She's pretty. I I just don't know the the modern PC landscape of calling people blind, but also like it works in his like affection for her as being kind of blind, like just right. You of, could use a duality. He just mm, he really I like really likes. I like her. that too. Yeah. See. That's what I'm talking about. That's way more compelling. Like, it still tells me it's about a romance. It still tells me, you know, not maybe directly, but pretty soon you'll figure out, oh, blind can have that double meaning. Like, I like it. I yes, stamp yes, of I approval on that one. Okay, so uh, yeah. my next, next one. My next one is Yatagarasu, the raven does not choose its mm. master. Now, here's the thing. Not all the shows when on this list are bad. When the show came out. When the show came out. And I saw it, on, you know, on Mal when you're we choosing our impressions. I did not really give this show a thought because I thought that this title kind of sound kind of sounded like it gave me Yuri vibes. Hmm. Okay. Or is it Yaoi? Yeah, it's uh, y- Yaoi, Yaoi vibes. I get I get the two mixed up sometimes. <laughs> it gives me Yaoi vibes. You know, like I was kind of thinking like, oh, are these two like a thing? And that's not a, I'm not saying that's a bad thing in particular. I was just under the impression it was not going to be good. So that being said, it did become one of the favorites of the season for me. So I really think they could just stick with Yatagarasu. It's what people usually call it. People don't really, they might call it Raven, but. Yeah, most people Yatagarasu, Yatagarasu just Yatagarasu. doesn't give people enough to go on. Like once you've seen Perhaps. it. Like, obviously, it's, like, referring to the type of ravens that they are. Like, that's what it's called. But what it, and, and also, the, the the raven does not choose its master is a really strange... It's a it's bit a of a mumble. Its yeah, it's hard to... It's, it's, it doesn't fly off the tongue very well. Mm-hmm. It kind of plays a part in the show later on, but... Not enough to then, be a title. Not, that's not the focus. Um... Hmm. So maybe it could be like Land of the Ravens or something. Or the, the I don't know, the Raven Prince. Concealed Raven Haven. I don't know. Something. Something. Because <laughs> it's still like a fantasy. With... Yeah. We got to workshop it a bit. But it definitely could be Raven better. Prin- I think the, the Raven, Raven Prince, Prince is a good name. Yeah. The Raven Prince is a very good suggestion. I think that's a that's a strong contender are we overlapping too much with like the deer prince or other no i no it's a raven this time it flies it's got wings no. i because I, I don't i haven't seen the deer prince so okay well it's not really watch yatagarasu want. it's good no matter what the title oh says um it's not a yaoi <laughs> it's not yaoi unfortunately it is fantasy-esque and it is really good so give it a shot mm-hmm. a lot of court drama like uh, the Raven Palace. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of it is not about you know choosing your master. It's it's really about the ravens as a whole. Yatagarsu, a raven yeah. waters plants. That's 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 what I'm going with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, yeah. We don't have to come to a final agreement. Just a workshop. Uh, Otaku, what do you got? All right, so from this past season, I had a, a show that I really enjoyed, but I hated the title. And that was The Osan Newbie Adventurer. Trained to death by the most powerful party, became invincible. Good <laughs> God. Wow. <laughs> I mean, did you guys watch this show? I did not. Okay, did I you, will tell you. Did you see you. the title? Of course I didn't watch that show. <laughs> <laughs> I already watched I, it by hearing the title. I will say this. It was very funny. It, it was very enjoyable from a comedic standpoint. Um, and to a point, the title does a good job of... Um, of describing to a bit exactly what happens, but it's just too much. So, cause I mean, since you haven't watched it, what you see in the title, there's an adventurer. He gets into adventuring later in life. Everyone just calls him like the old guy. He's like old. I'm, I'm only 30. Why are you calling me old? <laughs> but everybody calls him the old guy. And it just so happens the people that take him on are all, literally the most powerful S ranked adventurers in the entire land. And they turn him into just this absolute monster, but he is not aware of just how strong he is because of his training. So it's kind of one of those shows where this world, and I think the title does a disservice because it turned you off to it instantly. Mason. Well, I guess like, the you didn't question watch it. is, does it need the second part? Like for example, something on my list was, cautious hero the hero is overpowered but overly cautious which is similar in my mind to your show which is a isekai fantasy but really genuinely funny and pretty and daring but like do we need the whole the hero is overpowered but overly cautious like no just just get rid of that just call it cautious hero just capture the essence at the beginning like can we capture osan like just without the and then i got brought along to do all this other like can we can we trim it down? So for me, and I was thinking, like, how would I make this a title that would still grab somebody's attention, but not be the word salad that it is? Like, I became S ranked in my thirties. Okay, is yeah, that, that like tells me. And now you're like, the guy okay, is well, how older than normal. That's going to be different than a typical isekai. He's going to get strong, but like, is that late? Is that early? Like. It makes you question it, but it still tells you what you're getting into, you know? It, it, it definitely does, and it trims down a lot of that unnecessary yeah. fat that just puts off a lot of people. Because you see a title like that, you're like, you know what? I'm good. I don't how, think I need to watch that. How do you that. feel about Captain Avatar's suggestion of One Punch Osan? That's actually really That's good. actually not bad. <laughs> what, about, what about just O.P. Osan? Hmm. That would also be a good one. Yeah, back and to the alliteration. And you have to translate it. It could be OP old man. <laughs>